Hello, my friends, Lori Baracco here, and I'm here to share my predictions for pretty much the first week of August, even though I will air these on um, July 31st. So for the month of August, I am working with the Guardian of the Night Tarot by MJ Cullinane. Alrighty, so let's see what this upcoming week has in store for us. We are in such a powerful portal with the Lion's Gate portal that started on July 26th and it runs through August 12th and then the height of the portal is 8-8. All right, so these cards are gorgeous. The moment we got them in, I thought that is my next month's deck for the card of the day. Look how gorgeous the back of these cards are and the rich, beautiful images that she has on the inside. And we just love her decks. We just love MJ's decks. All right, so I'm gonna start by selecting a card from the front, the middle, and the back, and we'll see what we have um, in store for us for this upcoming week. All right, here's one here, one here, and then one from the back. There we go. All right, so it's revealed. The first card we have is the seven, it's the chariot. So this is a cancer sun sign card. That's a honey badger. Um, we just looked at this card yesterday, Kelsey and I. So first we have the chariot, then we have the four of pentacles. Look how gorgeous these are. And then we have the seven of swords. Woo. All right, so, oh, it's like um they're showing me to um find your sovereign so find your sovereign space within yourself find your sovereignty find your inner channel your central channel the the space of confidence with balance for yourself this week you may find that your emotions and your thoughts are being pulled over here and then maybe a little bit over there and there may be a little bit of shit stirring and pot stirring and things that are popping up all over you landmines here and there stay true to yourself stay true to your truth stay true to what you know with integrity is right and what's wrong try not to allow yourself to get pulled into all of these other dynamics you know when we have these huge portals that are open there are codes of ascension and light comes in and what that does is it brings stuff to the surface so there may be a lot of chaos around you people may be going through it you may find yourself triggered and going into your own chaos and spiraling right so find your center space defend your truth at all costs right without creating chaos for others as well stay true to yourself you know staying true to yourself doesn't mean you always have to broadcast it it doesn't mean you have to try to change other people's point of view Say, staying true to yourself means that i know within myself i know what feels right i know what is right and i will stay true to those values so the four pentacles is often the miser card right it, and and there's fear attached with this card where we're worried that um, we might move into a space of lack or uh, we're fearful to um, flow, right? Sometimes you have to spend a little to have that financial flow come back at you. And there's something about that this week where it's, we're worried about our um, finances, our health. It's like, I don't think I can go down that pathway. You could stay sovereign to yourself without going into the chaos and without um, being in a fearful place because you see what's going on with other people and what chaos or trauma they're dealing with. You can honor them, hold space and prayers, but you don't have to go down that rabbit hole. And that last card, that seven of swords, that is the ultimate truth that's coming out with um, people who maybe are intentionally being deceptive or maybe we're avoiding things. So there's more clarity coming forth for us as individuals, right? So there are the collective truths 
and then there are individual truths. Again, this is about knowing yourself and being in a place of confidence and not allowing the collective to shift your thinking if you know that that's not a belief system or truth it or eth truth or ethics that you hold near and dear to you. So keep yourself grounded. Um, if you need to spend a little bit more time at home because it, um, because the chariot card is the cancer card as i mentioned and the chariot is uh, it's all about also nurturing your home space your temple your sanctuary and um might need to do a little bit more energy gridding around your home and space so that you can sleep better right try to try before you walk in to your home before being out and out and about in the collective Try to take a moment and shift gears and leave all that with intention behind you. Leave all that drama behind you. Shift gears and go into your home and take time for yourself and leave all that nonsense behind. Okay, you might even want to do like a shifting of gears, cord cutting or something as you step on the, the step through the threshold. If you have a welcome mat in front of your front door, make that shift of that intention for yourself. All right. I know this week's prediction is a little or predictions are a little bit longer, but hey, it's what's needed for all of us. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you all soon. I'm Lori Baracco. Namaste.